Hey everybody, Mike Pleacha here from Metro Property Inspection. Today we're coming to you live from underneath the deck here in Overland Park, Kansas. And we're gonna talk about decks today because it's probably the number one most often uh, system in a home where we find defects. And they're not always huge defects, but the problem is that everybody thinks they can build a deck and a lot of times people don't follow uh, proper building procedures or do the research to even know what those building uh, procedures are. And because of that, more often than not, there's defects with them. So today we're gonna to show you a couple of examples of some of the things that you could look for when you're buying your next home or you're about to do the repairs yourself on your deck. One of the things that's most common is if you look up here, this is called the ledger board. This is the main board that attaches to the house that your joists hang from. Now there's a couple of things that are required with this. This ledger board should be spaced away from the siding or the exterior material so that any water that gets on the deck can run behind this board without damaging or decaying this material. So there's supposed to be space here to uh, accommodate that water flow. Another technique is a lot of times they'll put flashing above the top of this joist so that there's drainage there. Here there's nail holes missing in the joist hangers, so we need to have those. The joist hangers are designed to have all nail holes used at all times, and you can see clearly that those are not. Over here, I'll show you another thing. This right here is a landscape timber, and that is not designed for structural support. And if you look here, you can tell that this header that the landscape timber is holding up is not providing any support for the deck at all. The last thing I'll mention is on the outside of the deck, if you can see it, there are no joist hangers at the rim joist around the perimeter of the deck. Now, while they're not required, it's a good idea to have them. So these are just some of the tips that uh, you can use when you're repairing, rebuilding, or buying your next house when looking at a deck. You